With the holiday shopping season around the corner and Black Friday deals looming overhead, Fortnite dads out there will be looking to upgrade their setups. For those of you that play the game on PC, I'm going to recommend 10 of the best gaming mice under $50. And a full disclaimer, all of this is my own personal research. I've done quite a bit of, over a few days, so all of this is my personal recommendation. And with that in mind, let's get into the video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Critter. I'm a dad by day and gamer by night. And my goal is to help other Fortnite dads like me to improve at the game no matter what platform you are on. Now before we dive into the individual mice that we'll be looking at, one thing to keep in mind is the best parameters to look for in a gaming mouse. And those parameters are buttons, sensors, the construction of the mouse itself, the aesthetics or the way it was designed, and the software and any additional features that the mouse has. All of these are the current prices on Amazon as of this recording. So let's get into the first mouse, which is the Steel Series Rival 3. This mouse has six buttons, the Steel Series True Move Core optical sensor. It has an ergonomic build for right-handed mouse users. A three-zone RGB system that revolves around the SteelSeries GG engine. It has a maximum of 8,500 clicks per inch for CPI. And then the current price for the wired version of the mouse is 30 on Amazon. And the wireless version is $43. So... Both are good, depending on if you prefer the wired feeling of the weighted mouse itself or the wireless freedom that the wireless mouse comes with. So number two is the Razer Death Adder V2. This mouse has eight buttons, the Focus Plus optical sensor. It's a right-handed mouse just like the Steel Series. It has a custom Chroma RGB that uses the Razer Synapse software. One of its known features is a Speed Flex cable, and its current price on Amazon runs at $45. Number three on the list is the Corsair Harpoon RGB wireless mouse. <laughs> this one has six programmable buttons, a optical sensor that goes up to 10,000 dpi. It's lightweight with a contoured shape and rubber side grips for comfortable hands. It has dynamic RGB lighting and uses the Corsair ICUE software. And its most notable feature is that it's compatible with the Xbox One. So if you were to ever use a keyboard and mouse on an Xbox One, this would be a perfect mouse for you and currently its price on Amazon is $41. Number four on the list is the Razer Basilisk Essential. This is one of the mice that's built for smaller hands and it has seven programmable buttons. It has an optical sensor as well as a rubber side grips like the Corsair. It has, it's mainly for right hand. It, Comes with the same custom RGB as the Razer Death Adder. It has a multi-function paddle and has a DPI toggle for first-person shooting games such as Call of Duty. Its current price on Amazon is $38. Number five on the list is the Razer Aetheris, I believe is the, the way you say it. And it's a wireless mouse with five programmable buttons up to 7200 dpi with its optical sensor 
It is ambidextrous, so it works well for both right hand and left handed keyboard and mouse users with a rubber scroll wheel. It is portable for those of you who like to take your setup on the go. Its most notable feature is a 350 hour battery life. The price currently on Amazon is $40. Number six is the Logitech G403 Hero 25K. With six pro programmable buttons, the Hero 25K optical sensor. It is lightweight with comfortable rubber grips and it has a light sync RGB that can be programmed through the G hub and a notable feature is a maximum of 25,600 DPI. On Amazon currently its price is $49 so really it's probably the most expensive of these mice that I am listing. Number seven is also from Logitech G and it's the G502 Hero with, with the high performance. So this mouse currently has 11 buttons. So it, is the, it has the most buttons as far as I could see for a mouse. And its construction has metal spring tension inside a light sync RGB with the same G Hub software, and its most notable feature is that it has adjustable removable weights and is currently $40 on Amazon. Now, with number eight, the Steel Series Sensei 310. It has eight buttons to program, the same sensor as the Steel Series Rival 3. And it's ambidextrous, so another great option for both hands. And it uses the SteelSeries GD software to customize the two-zone multicolor RGB. And its most notable feature is that it's compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux, and is currently priced at $38. The ninth and second to last mouse on this list is the HyperX Pulse Fire Search. This mouse has six buttons, a Pixar Ultim optical sensor. It has large skates on the bottom of the mouse for easy gliding on any of your mouse pads. And it has what is called a 360 RGB light ring. So the RGB is all the way around the mouse. The onboard memory helps it to save different profiles for button programming. And so for $42, this isn't a bad option for the programming that you can pull off of it. Now the final mouse on the list, the Corsair M65 RGB Elite has eight buttons, an optical sensor, and its construction is a durable aluminum frame. It is designated primarily as a first person shooting mouse for right-handed players, but since most of a uh, since a lot of people play Fortnite, this one will also work. It uses the Corsair's software to take care of the RGB lighting. It has a tunable weight system as well as a precision sniper DPI button, and it is currently priced at forty dollars. Now. All of these mice are great options, so whatever you choose is totally up to you. These are just, again, personal recommendations from me. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give the like button a one pump. And if you are looking for tips on how to improve your building skills, I recommend a video series on my channel called Building Made Simple. In that series, I go over individual building techniques from beginner to advanced levels. I hope you have a great rest of your day, wherever you may be, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!